Hi, it's Tony here from the Think to Thrive team with a very, very important message just for you. You're probably wondering why am I holding this box? All will be revealed in a minute. First of all, let me ask you this question. Here, I'm going to present for you some key concerns that I'm hearing from people that I'm uh, listening to on the radio or the television or colleagues or friends that I may discuss with about the current situation, this uh, crisis that we are in at the moment. Here's the words. First of all, I want you to have a look at those words and I want to see if you can identify with any of these concerns that I'm hearing that people are raising right now. So there they are. Can you identify with any of those concerns? Now, there may even be more. These are just some of them. Let's have another look at another list of words that you might be able to identify with at this current time of crisis. Here's the next set. If that's your world right now, and I, I think you'd agree it's, it's most people's world right now, it's not good. It's not good. And I believe from the bottom of my heart that actually what's happening now is a shift. I believe that human consciousness, all of us collectively, are going through a shift. Now, we could numerate for hours about what's so bad in the world and the situation that we're in, but you have to start to now wake up and realise that something is deeply taking place within all of us that is actually going to lead to a better place. I truly believe that. And after 25 years of study and the power that you have inside you, that all of us have, I took the leap into the unknown. And many people asked, Tony, why would you jump into unpredictable situations, the unknown, challenge? Why would you do that when everything was so safe and secure? You see, I knew that the only way I could stretch, the only way I could grow, and the only way that I could, I could develop as, as a spiritual being, believing in my heart what I've always taught all of the children in school, was that you and I become what we think about. Within our wonderful imagination, we have the ability to literally create. It's not taught in school. It's not mainstream. It's the next revolution, I believe, in human consciousness. Now, you're probably, going back to the box, you're probably wondering, Tony, what, come on, tell us what's in this box. If I was to tell you that within this box is the solution to all of those problems that we've just highlighted here, it's the solution for you to get through this challenge, to empower you, to allow you to have any of the things that you truly desire. Those feelings, those sense of life satisfaction, a meaning, purpose, passion. And it was inside this box and I was about to reveal that to you. You'd be saying, come on, come on, show me what's inside that box. Are you ready? Because I am going to show you what's inside this box. It is the solution to every single confusion, frustration, a dream, ambition, anything at all, peace of mind that you now currently desire in this current situation. I'm going to reveal it to you right now. It may come as a shock. Are you ready? But Tony, there's nothing there. What are you doing with us? Tony, there's nothing there. I was, I, was, I was hoping there'd be a thing, an object, a book, a manuscript maybe, some kind of symbol that you could share with me now to solve all of these problems. But there's nothing there. It's completely empty. It's a void. You see, there are two sides to you. There is your preoccupation and fascination, addiction with this physical world, this hard reality. It governs all of us. It becomes our world, our reality, the way that things are. But there's another half to you as well, and it's this empty void. And that con is, is contained within your wonderful imagination, within your mind. That's where all of the magic starts to happen. 
So when you start to study and when you start to unlock the meaning of certain principles such as thought, feeling, emotion, uh, daydreaming even, manifestation, the law of attraction, all of these quite complex uh, concepts, when you start to study, you realise that you fill this void with a new sense of awareness. And you see, it's that awareness which creates the shift. It's that awareness that creates the shift and change in you, that perception. Now you have your feet right now in two worlds. You have your right foot, now I want you to imagine this right now, you have your right foot in the physical world. And this is the world that the news is feeding you. This is the world that you see and you feel and you touch. This is your bank account. This is your job loss. This is your relationship. This is the despair. This is the loneliness. This is the frustration. Okay? Now, how much longer are you going to focus on those emotions in this hard physical world before we wake up and realise that we're far greater than that? Where is this, Tony? It's within that void. Okay, where is this void? It's within you. It's within here, your imagination. Your left foot is stood in the non-physical world. And that is the world where we go off into meditation, daydreamings, the subconscious, thoughts, imagination. And you truly create your reality, how you feel, how you behave, and what you attract into life, the more and more that you immerse yourself in that world. Now to the onlooker and the naysayer, they see that void as pointless. They see that as a waste of time. You are imagination and you have the gift to look out into the world and create any scenario that you possibly wish, possibly could even imagine that your wildest dreams to be real. This is who you are. Now from the bottom of my heart, I'm going to pound this out right now. Mike and I, we live by these principles and we are absolutely fascinated by it. It's why we created the Think to Five programme. It's why I left full-time education. It's why I do what I do. It's my passion. Let me ask you this question. Is what you're doing right now in terms of worry, doubt, focusing on the news all the time, looking in the outside world, is it working? Be honest with yourself right now, is that working? And can you imagine that you have far more potential than that? That there's questions that are unanswered. There are doors unlocked. There's a world within you that could just open up a whole new reality. Take it from me, take it from Mike. Yes, yes, there is. But the trouble is we're not taught this in school. We're not taught this by our parents, unless we're very lucky. It's not the common, but it's always been there, that knowledge since the beginning of time. The great mystics have always understood this. And I'm absolutely passionate now, between now and my dying day, to get this information out and share it with you. Come on, feel yourself now being empowered. You can do this. But how do we do this? We do this through knowledge. We do this through discussion. We start to lift the stones up slowly on the beach to reveal those little crabs that are crawling around and those creatures. Do you remember doing that as a child? You'd lift up the stone and you discovered there was a whole world in a rock pool that was all taking place and you couldn't see it. You have infinite potential. You have the ability to change your reality. This is now a shift in consciousness. People say to me, I can't wait for it to get back to normal. When was it ever normal? It was never normal. We are destroying the planet. The way I like to look at this is in this way. I use three words, care, 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 and it goes like this. First, care for yourself, and that it means care for how you think, how you're using those mental faculties, how are you feeling. Secondly, care for each other, because would you agree if you start to care about you as a person and how you're getting the best from you, you're going to start caring for other people. And we have to do this in this next challenge we have for the next thousands of years. And finally, care for the planet. We cannot go on the way that we are destroying this planet. We cannot. This is a wake up call. But there's an opportunity for you. The opportunity now is to grow with this growth.
You see, the change is coming. The change is coming. And what's going to happen is if you're still focused on this hard reality and you're not aware of the void inside this box where all the power is contained, as crazy as that may sound, you are going to get left behind. I am passionate now to share with you a set of videos that Mike and I are going to send out very soon. We're going to send out some Zoom calls. We may be there in person. We'll have to see because it's coming soon. Look out for it. Where we're going to start a discussion. Engage with that discussion and you can discover the secrets to truly creating the most magical solutions to any of your problems. I will never, ever, ever take from anybody the sentence or the statement, if you like, that says, no, you don't, there's a limit to your power, or there is, there's no truth in this, uh, I, don't, I don't go with that, no way. And, if, and if, I, if that ever does happen, I use those examples from my own experience all the way through life, that if you can hold it up here, you can hold it here in your hand. It's absolutely powerful. You can do it. I'm passionate about this. Come on, stand tall, we can break through this, but we have to start waking up. Now, Mike and I, don't worry, we're going to hold your hand. We're going to carry you through this. And if you find this information tantalising and interesting, you'll be drawn deeper and deeper and deeper into a truth that will truly liberate and free you. And it's simply how you use your mind. It's simply how you imagine. It's simply how you act. It's simply how you behave. All of those things create your outside world. And the world now is waking up. The world is ready for this now. And you could be part of this journey. Come on board with Mike and I because we're so excited because we're just seeing this time now is exciting. It's a wake up call. It's an opportunity to truly live the life that you were put on this planet for. Here's to your awesome success. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Join me up, join Mike and I on this. It's going to be amazing. And I truly, truly want you now to take yourself and shake out that potential. Stand up tall and say, I can do this. And I do it with my marvellous mind in the void of the unknown where we place any idea and just keep feeding it like a child with emotions, potential, creativity, inspiration and you can master your future. This is Tony Mallet signing out. Here's to your awesome success. Come on, we can do this.